My name is Kristen Knight. I'm entomologist for Monsanto and I work in Toowoomba. Bolgard 3 has been a really exciting project for the Monsanto team. Over 90% of cotton growers have actually transitioned from Bolgard 2 to Bolgard 3 this season. We've introduced Bolgard 3 uh, because whilst we haven't seen any resistance in Helicoverpus species developed to the proteins that are in Bolgard 2, we needed the addition of the third protein so it becomes more difficult for resistance to develop. So really it was just about adding another tool to our resistance management bucket. VIP3A does that. We're really proud and excited to see the benefits that the new RMP has to offer to growers, in particular uh, the planting window, giving them more opportunity to plant throughout the season. What excites us about Bolgard 3 is if we've defoliated by the 31st of March, we don't have to pupae bust, which in turn, we don't need a huge rain event then uh, to go in and plant a winter crop. And we can then come back in the following season and get dryland cotton planted again. So this season really has been a baptism of fire for Bolgard 3 being its first season out in the industry. There's been extreme helicoverpa pressure, so higher pressure than we've seen for a lot of years, so that means lots of eggs that have been laid. And that means that lots of caterpillars have actually had to emerge to take a bite of the Bolgard before they'll actually die. So given that we've had that extreme pressure, the Bolgard technology with the addition of VIP3A has handled that really well. Monsanto has run a BT resistance monitoring program since 2003 and we will continue to do our annual program. The only thing that has changed with the program is that we will now be uh, monitoring VIP3A as well as uh, CRY1AC and CRY2AB. The scale of the program from year to year depends on the pressure in the field, uh, so that will may limit our collections if it's a low pressure year. But when an egg comes into the lab, we'll rear that through to um, a moth and then we will make that moth against a known resistant moth and then we will do a, a screen. And that process takes six weeks. To protect the Bolgard technology, to ensure that it really lasts, it is essential that you have a healthy and effective refuge. In general, refuge quality has been really good this year. Our results from our mid-season audits showed very few that were ranked as non-compliant and there was no difference between pigeon pea and unsprayed cotton in terms of those that were ranked non-compliant. So in general, it's been really pleasing to see really good management of refuges this season.